you go to come here here and you will complement the pot so the pot all the all the LEDs will become on yes. then you return from interrupt come back here you continue okay now all the LEDs are on right yes. now let's say it keeps running here now you press switch 2 when you press switch 2 you see now the program is done let's go slow motion speed up we have this right PC let's say when the PC is if the PC has passed this line, then if you press <coughs> the switch, nothing will happen. Because you are holding. So you have to keep pressing until the thing comes back here. Uh, then it will detect. Then what you will do? It runs to on, on LED. This now all the LEDs are on, right? Yeah. The upper conical now will pop. Because then you go branch check again. So if you press switch 1 now, you will go back to interrupt right. Yeah. So just now the lower nipple is on, the higher nipple is off. When you complement what happens? Oh. The higher nipple will be on, oh. the lower nipple will become off because you are just complementing this. Then again if you press switch 2, again it will go back to the yeah. So that is the difference between interrupt and pulling. See here, when I go slow motion, if the PC has passed this line, then if you press the switch, nothing will happen. That's the disadvantage of pulling. The PC has to come back to this line, and when it's executing this line and you're pressing the switch, then it will execute this one. But intra is not like that. Intra we can do happily, the PC can go anywhere. When the intra happens, it stops. So can you see the difference between the interrupt and pulling? So, of course, don't worry, I just, this is not a bit too so for this here. Actually, the program runs extremely fast, so you press one, also it will go. Unless if you have a long program here, then if you have a long program, it's a loop to check back, and then you need to make sure that it's the So this is the advantage of uh, interrupt. That's why interrupt becomes very useful, because the moment you press, the interrupt gives you the flexibility to the main program to run whatever it wants. You can do whatever it wants. Once you configure, the main program is free to do whatever it wants. But when you have an interrupt, you will stop, you will service the interrupt and then come back to the main program. But polling is actually exhaustive. Why? Because you have to keep checking, 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 checking. So it means you cannot do other things. You have to keep checking.